In June 2025, Xinjiang was running out of rain. The ground was dry, crops were struggling, and temperatures were rising fast. While most countries waited for the sky to show mercy, China took control. They didn't sing. They didn't pray. They coded. In a quiet rollout, fleets of AI-controlled drones took off over western China. Their mission? Create rain. On demand. Not with silver iodide. Not with chemicals, but with microwave pulses guided by AI systems that tracked the wind, humidity, and cloud conditions in real time. These weren't military drones. They weren't spraying anything. They were trained to talk to the sky, with data, and it worked. Within 22 minutes of launch, over 7 square kilometers of farmland saw real rainfall. No artificial substances, no guesswork, just technology shaping the weather. And that was just one test. Over the next 45 days, the operation continued. On June 4th alone, the drones triggered a 4% increase in rainfall across 8,000 square kilometers. In a place where water is survival, this wasn't a miracle. It was a message. In the future, rain won't come from hope. It will come from hardware. So how do you make it rain without chemicals? That's the part that sounds like science fiction. But China just turned it into field-tested fact. Instead of silver iodide rockets or seeding planes, they used drones equipped with AI and microwave pulse emitters. The idea is simple but powerful. Water vapor is already in the air. You don't need to add anything. You just need to nudge it, to gather and fall. So these drones fly into the sky guided by real-time data from satellites and ground-based sensors. They monitor wind patterns, humidity levels, temperature gradients, and cloud density. When conditions are right, they release microwave bursts that stimulate the moisture to condense faster and fall as rain. What makes this different from traditional cloud seeding? Two things. One, no chemicals. No silver iodide, no risk of environmental contamination. Second, AI-guided precision. These drones don't follow fixed routes. They adapt mid-flight, changing altitude, angle, and pulse timing based on the data they're receiving, minute by minute. The result? A rainfall system that doesn't just spray and pray. It thinks, it calculates, it acts with purpose. And the most impressive part? It only takes 22 minutes to see impact on the ground. In a world where weather is growing more extreme, that speed could make all the difference. Rain is more than just water. In China, it's about survival, security, and sovereignty. Think about Xinjiang. It's not just dry, it's massive. A vast region covering one-sixth of China's land, with deserts, farmlands, and over 25 million people. Water shortages here don't just affect crops, they affect food prices, energy production, and even social stability. So when the skies stop delivering, China doesn't just watch the weather, they engineer it. And this isn't new. For over a decade, China has invested in weather modification programs, from cloud seeding rockets to high-altitude balloons. But now, with AI and drones, the game has changed. Why? Because water security is national security. And because in a world facing more extreme droughts, controlling rain means controlling risk. It's not about showing off. It's about ensuring that crops grow, reservoirs fill, and cities survive, no matter what the forecast says. And when the U.S. is struggling with wildfires, Europe is rationing water, and Africa is praying for clouds. China is building a network of sky engineers. This isn't just technology, it's infrastructure. In the 21st century, the nation that controls water may control more than we think. On one side, China says this is innovation. Smart, sustainable, strategic. A way to bring rain to places where people need it most, without polluting the sky or draining rivers. But on the other side, Critics are asking harder questions. 
who decides when and where it rains. What happens to the regions next door when one country starts pulling clouds toward itself? That's the uncomfortable truth about weather manipulation. Every action in the sky causes a reaction somewhere else. If China increases rainfall in Xinjiang, could it mean less rain in Mongolia? Or in Kazakhstan? No one really knows, because while the science is improving, the rules haven't caught up. There's no global treaty on weather engineering, no shared standards, no ethics board. And that leaves room for fear that what starts as drought relief could become a tool of influence or even soft warfare. Because when you can control the sky, you can do more than farm. You can negotiate with it, threaten with it, protect with it. China insists that its AI drone rain program is scientific, limited, and peaceful. But in a world where climate and conflict are increasingly connected, not everyone is convinced. And perhaps the biggest question isn't whether this works. It's whether anyone should be allowed to use it at scale. This isn't just a story about rain. It's a story about how AI is starting to shape the natural world. For years, AI has transformed what we read, what we watch, even how we think. But now, it's reaching higher. Literally. With AI-guided drones, China isn't just optimizing delivery routes or surveillance. It's using algorithms to influence cloud behavior, water cycles, and regional climate conditions. And that opens up a new chapter in global tech strategy. The merger of climate resilience and digital control. In a warming world where rainfall is erratic, being able to summon it reliably, predictably, ethically could be the next superpower. But here's what makes China different. They're not building this for export. Yet, they're building it for themselves. To feed 1.4 billion people. To stabilize arid regions. To reduce reliance on foreign food and water systems. To prepare for a future where climate chaos becomes the norm. While the West debates carbon credits and innovation hubs, China is building tools to directly manipulate their environment. Not in theory, not someday, but now. The cloud has always been a metaphor for computing, but now it might also be a battlefield. And in that sky, AI is the new weather god. For centuries, humans looked up at the sky and waited. Waited for rain, for luck, for mercy, but not anymore. In China today, Rain isn't random, it's responsive, programmed, and increasingly, political. What we've seen in Xinjiang isn't just about drones. It's a glimpse into a future where weather isn't a natural event, but a controlled variable, managed by code, guided by data, and shaped by national interest. AI is no longer limited to our screens, our keyboards, or our chatbots. It's reaching into the sky to rewrite what we once thought untouchable. And here's the most important part. China didn't wait for global consensus. It didn't ask permission. It just built it. Because in the eyes of Beijing, control over rain is control over land, control over food, and control over the future. So the next time the clouds don't come, don't just look up. Ask instead, who's got the code? And remember, in this new world, rain may no longer fall where it's needed. It may fall where it's commanded.